I know we've enjoyed all the speakers this morning. It's a great privilege to introduce our last and final speaker for this morning's spiritual session, our Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Glenn W. Kinley. Yes. Yes. Can we get the idea, or is it imparted to us, 
that whatever the Messiah does, we should do. Right? Okay. And I've seen people that I'm following in the footsteps of Jesus. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Says I'm eating the Lord's Supper. Right? Yeah. I'm getting baptized. I'm paying my dues. How old are you now? Thirty-three and a half. Time to get crucified. See you later. So let's not kid ourselves any longer. We have not followed in this footsteps. Now that is not to your shame. It wasn't given to you to follow in his footsteps in fulfilling the long process. That's right. This was Yahweh himself right. that declared a purpose and said I would accomplish it. Yes. Now to make a long story made short, he revealed himself on the day of Pentecost that they might believe. Go ahead the work that he done while he tabernacled with them in the body. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. And then asked, do you believe me? Mm. And they did. Said, I'm giving. Yeah. Eternal life. That's right. This is eternal life. Yes. That you know right. that Yahshua was the true Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And all that's been asked of the human race or mankind is to come and learn how I did it. Or how he did it. That's what I'm talking about. But we're too busy. You know? He didn't say go do it. He said put my yoke upon you and learn of me. Yeah. Now we've learned about teachers. We learned about Columbus, and we found out Columbus wasn't the first one. I know it was history that we thought was true. We found out it ain't. Right. Right. So your faith in what you were taught as history is gone. Somebody was supposed to fly to Atlantic, come out with somebody else, did it before he did. Right. Columbus was supposed to sell the ocean blue in 1492. We found out somebody did it before he did. In other words, everything you've been taught historically, somebody comes up and knocks it out. So you have no firm foundation to believe a whole lot of things. But not so. When it comes to Yahweh and his purpose. That I'm Yahweh and I change that. There will be no changes. Right? Now, just briefly this morning, and we're going to go into it uh, like we did yesterday. All right. All right. Like I said, I got a few sermons left. All right. All right. I think when the creation goes out, I have something more to So we clean it up in there. You know what I'm saying? and keep right on the right. 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 But I'm saying, but us not searching the scriptures. And even that is hard to say because the scriptures have been contaminated. Right. They've been stellified. Moses did not write. In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. You dug Moses up and asked him who God was, he wouldn't know who the hell you was talking about. Right. You dug the apostles up. So, and asked him about Lord God, Jesus Christ. I said, who, who are you talking about? We never met that one. Don't all think about it. That's not the one that revealed himself to them. All right. See? And that goes along with tradition and custom. We've been taught Lord, God, Jesus Christ all our lives and don't know no men. And ready to fight somebody about those men. Then what difference does the name make? I'm not throwing off on them. This, this is what we've all been confronted with. Right. Right. Even we thought, what difference does the name make? Right. Right. We're guilty of that sitting right here. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So we're not throwing off on nobody. Right. Come 
about big business then. No. So we have to learn to go back to the root or the beginning of anything to come to an absolute and profound understanding. Yes, sir. Unless you do that, you won't know. You won't know that you don't know, that you don't know, that you didn't know. You know? And that's not to call you stupid. I hope this cold is great enough. Dude, I'm very good. Now, what I want to do in 10 minutes, some of the basic things that you're taught in religion as a form of worship. Because there's a whole lot of things in the Bible you never practice. Right. We picked out the easy things. Yeah. So, we don't pick out climbing mountains and transfiguring. We pick out knees. <laughs> that I can do. Water, I'm used to bat, go ahead. Huh? Right? Right. So we just pick out a few things. Then we think Jesus said for us to do this. Mm -hmm. In this doctrine, you begin to find out who the Messiah was talking to, when, where, and how. Right. And remember those kind of questions. When, where, and how. Who was he talking to? How was he saying? What did it mean? Mm. Right. Now I've heard people say, or preachers say, God is so big! He can't get over it. He's so wide. He can't get around it. He's so deep. He can't get under it. And I want to know what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> if he's all that, what are you talking about? Because he's so big, you can't find out nothing. Ain't no way to go around to find out nothing. And you can't dig deep enough to find out nothing. So what are you talking about? You put all these things down to it. You know? But now those that are sitting here now, if we have taught you by the instructions of the sound to bring you back. Yeah. Do some comparative religion. See? Investigate for yourself. Because if you watch every preacher, sooner or later they fall. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later they fall. Then people look at numbers. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many how many do we have in our church? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> they do that. They major um progress then for uh Successful. Yeah. By the numbers. Yeah. See? And I brought one around the school. How many of you have in your class? Yeah. I said, well, I have about 175. Maybe 200. Oh, we have 600. That's true. You know? I ain't looking for one. That's right. right. Somebody said, it's right here in my back. So is Lord God Jesus Christ. 
Let me tell you something. Just, just use some common sense. Don't nobody want no last supper they ate a year ago. <laughs> and we keep talking about the last supper. You know? Right? Right. right. <laughs> and we never ask the question, where was the first? That's right. right. Yeah. Something we never thought of. <laughs> and I'm going to make a point blank statement. Ain't nobody in the world eat no supper, Passover supper, what you call Lord's supper, the way Yahweh set it up. Ain't nobody in the world doing it. All right. All right. right, Nathan? Right. That's down the pole. Ain't no a Hebrew to whom it was given to. Right. Are not doing it correct. They had a seven branch land thing. Under the dictates of Yahweh instructions to Moses. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we got Hanukkah with nine. Right. Yeah. You see? Right. Somebody's always changing them. No? There wasn't nine days in creation. It was seven. Yeah. Well, so therefore, a seven brand lampstand. To show that he was the one that built the world. Yeah. And six days on the seventh day he rested. Yeah. <coughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But it's always somebody, Messiah talks about it. And if you don't know words or, or see the pattern, he said they brought in their prolactories. Somebody said, what's a phylactery? You see? It's like you have a waistband, like the high priest wore around here. But they get so long, you ever know that long, I look wider. The, the phylactery or the, uh, the band is on the Roman, and it goes from here to put it down the middle. See, that's what he's talking about. In other words, he just broadens the lie and he tells it. Then they wear their collars backwards to be seen as men. All right. 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 All now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the first Passover. Listen! I'm talking about the first Passover with Israel. Right. Or the Hebrews. This is not the first Passover. All right. Okay. But it is the first Passover with the Israelites. All right. Okay. Got it? I know where all the Passovers are. Right. Even when Noah's grandfather, Methuselah, died, and was buried the year before the flood, knowing his family passed over the two of them body. All right. When Yahweh took on shape and form, he passed over some pure spirit and incorporated right. 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 So I know where all the Passovers are. All right. Right. And the angels feasted with him as he made the Passover he brought them for. They feasted with him. That's the first time. Right. 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 in heaven. Right. 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 How am I doing? Yeah. Now what he does in heaven is what he's going to do on it. Yes, yeah, sir. Read. Exodus 12 and 1. And Yahweh spake Now hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> so well, she ain't read it yet. No, I'm going to call your attention to that. Yeah. Yeah. And Reverend Ike said, No. no. Glenn no. Kennedy said, No. no. Thing you said. Remember I said, you want to know who, when, where, and how? But this is Yahweh telling somebody something. And where at? In the land of Egypt. Right. Now we got who's talking. We got who's talking and a place. A location. So, read. And Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron. See, now we know who we know he's talking to. You know, everybody, every time you read something, Jesus said for us to 
the film is, he didn't tell you nothing. You understand? He never told you to do this. Do never told you to get baptized. That's right. You know what I mean? Well, you know, it's against the law. If somebody's got an exclusive party, it's against the law to party, a uh, Christ party. That's right. Unless you got an invitation. Where did you get your invitation to the last or the first Sabbath? Where did you get one from? Who invited you? <laughs> no, no, no Gentile. Somebody said, what's a Gentile? Anything other nation of the Hebrew. Then right there, trick something else. Are the Hebrews any better than us? No. But there was one Yahweh. Wow. And he chose one nation to manifest something that would be the blessing of all nations. That's right. right. Wasn't the Hebrews any better than anybody else? Right? right. And as we had the other day read, behold the goodness and the spirit of Yahweh. He didn't give it to the Gentiles of Christ. That's the goodness. And every time the Hebrews broke it, they got killed. That's right. Or Yahweh punished them for it. You understand? Yeah. Let's move on. And Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt. In the land of Egypt. Saying. Saying, this month. This month. Now what month was that? We, we now know. We, one time we didn't know none of it. That's right. That's right. So let, let me say this right up here. That that you heard from the floor he had taught is not the vessels you're looking at. Right. They don't know a thing about it. That's right. right. There's nothing we as human beings figured out. Right. And nobody is that smart to put nothing together. Right. If I had a beautiful pattern where it makes sense from Genesis Revelation. Am I right? Yes. Right. Read, let's go. This month shall be unto you the beginning of month. It shall be the first month of the year to uh -huh. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel. Don't tell everybody. No. no. You see? They speak to the congregation of Israel. Right. And, they, and you know what? They're, they're in the land of the Gentiles. No, sir. That's right. And, then don't, don't, and then tell them, don't tell them nothing. Right. Read. Saying, in the tenth month of this day, now I mean, in the tenth day of this month. That's right. I knew you were reversing that I knew what you wanted. And now you're going, on the tenth day, see, right. of this, I'll say ninth, or I'm going to give it to you as you know, April. April 10th. Mm -hmm. That's using the Gregorian name. Somebody, what's a Gregorian? Gentile out there. What's a Gentile? You! Great <laughs> <laughs> reading. In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb. A, every man a lamb. Now right there, if, if, if the schools were listening, if the lamb is out on him, yeah. And he tells them, take every man a lamb. Yeah. Then take some of them. Right. Yeah. Then every one of them. All right. A lamb. Yes. Yeah. Which is their lamb. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And take it in their house. Yeah. That ought to told you something way back here. Right. Yeah. Right. Everybody has a lamb in it. Right. Right. Take every man a lamb. Mm -hmm. Now, while I'm there, let me explain something about the And be pertinent, I don't eat lamb. That's right. I don't even want to smell it. No. So I'm glad y'all waited to give it to me to eat fast. We didn't have to fix my appetite for that one. <laughs> but I'm saying a lamb, when we're talking about that, we want to take the flesh off. You know what I mean by that? Learn to find out what attribute. Yes. What disposition is in the land? Okay. And we find that the land is willing to lay down its life. Mm. As you might live. 
That divine principle is in a land. You follow? Yeah. You talking about a cloud. Phenomenal cloud. All this fur, he looks like he's walking the mountain. In a cloud. You understand? And Messiah, you made those so we can understand the parable and the scripture lesson today. My sheep hear my voice. Yes, And they will not follow. Things. See, I can sit out here with Nathan, Nathan Shepherd, and I'm a shepherd. Do it, Terry. Nathan, what's been going on over there in Canaan Land? Well, I've been down in the east, and so on. So, he ain't saying, hey, hey, what? Go get that your sheep. Hey, hey, somebody keep my sheep. Uh, go when I leave. You know what? We sit there and talk all we want. Work it, man. So, okay, Nate, see you later, okay? And I said, whoop, and all my sheep are out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't none of his sheep gonna follow me, and ain't none of mine gonna follow him. Go ahead, man. Now that's the, that just is in the lamb. So when he said, my lamb, my sheep hear my voice. Yes. He's the shepherd. Right. Yes, now what is the what is his voice? When you hear the truth, right. yeah. right. you're hearing his voice. Yeah. Right. And you'll follow after. Right. Yeah. And you won't follow after any strange shepherd right. or strange doctor. Right. That disposition in the lamb. So therefore. Yahweh yeah, had to make it that way, make, cause it to be that way, so that when he tells Israel to drive a lamb, that they would understand as the revelation of it, and that why it was done that way. Right. Yes, sir. Read. A lamb according to the house of their father. Uh -huh. A lamb for a house. A lamb for a house. And I'm telling you, there's a lamb in every house in here. Yeah. Yes. It ain't changed. You understand? Yeah. Read. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Now see, we got the lamb in us. And we're inviting the world to come in. That's right. That's right. Because this lamb is just too big. That's right. It's just too much. We can't contain it all. That's right. So we're inviting the neighbors, the friends, the relatives. the relatives. Right. 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 Bring enemies. Hope that that it'll change yeah. things. Right. Right. Yeah. Ain't no enemy got so big and bad y'all ain't couldn't hold it. That's right. Right. Or you didn't do nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? That's right. He didn't have the power to turn all of them around. That's right. We're heading in the wrong direction anyhow. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Read. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. See, I'm um, saying, then read. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You see, now wait a minute. Should I do this one more time? Yeah. 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 Come on. Do the best. Read it again, Barbara. Your lamb shall be without blemish. We didn't have any there. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb without blemish. I mean, he ain't crippled. Yes, sir. Ah, foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Lamb of the first year. Shock, shock. Yeah. 
You follow me? Down to one ten, one fifteen pounds. Working. That's right. For your benefit. That's right. You understand? Yes, sir. This is all I've done for years. And I come home really? to the place where the vision was given. And you don't want to associate with me. You saw me? Yeah. You don't want nothing to do with me. Yeah. You don't agree with me. You saw me? Yeah. I'm not asking you to agree with me. I'm just asking you to agree with him that's running in you. Yeah. All right. Hey. Agree with me ain't going to help you nothing. Read, let's get it over. A male is the first year. Now what? Male. Now the school invites you. Are you listening? Yeah. Invites you to do some comparative religion. Right. Now if you was a Roman Catholic. Right? Yeah. You pray to the Virgin Mary. Yeah. Right. But the book says a male. Yeah. Not a female. Right. Right. You understand? Yeah. Which we never pay no attention to. We think having Mary, the mother of Jesus, tell Jesus what we want. He's more than asking her to do something than his mama asking him to do. <laughs> right, right. That's what they believe. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And you're going to have pin scratch the first where Mary ever laid claim to being the mother of Yahshua. That's right. But he took her mm. and, and Joseph as himself right. as the mother and father, though they were not. Right. Remember now, this is him that was shown in a quote real form. And his parents' substance was, you understand? The essence. You me? And Jerusalem above was his mother. You saw me? So no man came into being without a mother and a father. That's right. You see what I mean? So when you look down at this, parents, children, obey your parents, you think you're talking about mama and father. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the proper teaching you go right back to keep people in the head. Yeah. You're right. You know what I'm saying? You say, I'm doing what my parents told Now everybody's in view to know that's wrong. Right. So that, that rule won't hold up. Gotcha. When it says, children obey your parents. You know yeah. We want a rule that works from Colorado to Esther, or we want a rule that works from start to finish. Yeah. Not Mr. B. Let's read, let's read. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goat. They take it out from the sheep or the goat. I'm not more than that when you think I am. But take it out on the tent. See? Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Take it out from the sheep or the goat. Right. Yeah. Read that while I'm doing it. And ye shall keep it up until the 14th day. Now it's going over for four days. Right. April. Still the same month, right? Right. 14th day of the same month. 14th day of the same month. Right? And, yeah. right. and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it between the evenings. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not going to I, I can explain it. I'm yeah. going to you later on the day, you know, since you're here. So I, I wish you would explain it between the third and fourth uh, uh, evenings. Mm. I'll do it. But I, I'm, on, I'm on the clock now, so we can get to dinner. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I don't think I'm bridging that. Right. Or right. well, I can't explain every verse, comma, semicolon. Right. 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 Don't have to hop over nothing. Right. Read. But I'm asking something about Passover. That's what I'm talking about. Right. This is the first Passover. Right. You see? Yeah. That we didn't know nothing about. That's right. Read. And they shall take up the blood and strike it on the two sides. Uh -huh. And on the upper door posts of the houses. Where well, all I'm talking about is on the chart, but I, I, I got your attention on one thing here before your eyes go, you know, wander up and down. Now, I got a, a, a focal point. Do what now, Barbara? They shall take the blood. Take the blood. And strike it on the two side posts. Strike it on the two side posts. And on the upper door posts uh -huh. of the houses. See that? Yes, sir. Now look, how many of you, or all of you, or any one of you, when you saw Ten Commandments, thought that was something great? <laughs> See? Come out of the line all the way through. They had the Israelites went outside the door and put the blood on the outside of the house. That's not true. You just read it. And I scratched my head wondering what Bible were they reading? <laughs> and got several versions in my house, and, and what they said in the Ten Commandments wasn't 
ain't none of them. Mm. That's right. Thank the blood. See? Well, yeah. read. Where in they shall eat it. See, where in, not where out. Right. Right. <laughs> now, let me tell you something about outdoors All right. at this time. All right, then. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was chaotic, stigit, black, dark. Yes, they couldn't have seen nothing outdoors had they went. That's right. That's right. They would eat it in the night. Huh? Yes. So, well, Glenn, how do you know that? Because in the beginning, the darkness covered the face of the deep side. Mm. And boy, you understand? Yes. Yeah. Right. And then the spirit of Yahweh moved upon them and said, let there be light. Yes. So there's the darkness without. You understand? Know but the light is in the house. Yes, sir. All right. You understand? Know All right. Read. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. In that night. You see them? Read. Let's go. Roast with fire and unleavened bread. Not boiled. And with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. Bitter herbs? Yeah. Now look. Now what do we got on the land? What do we got on the menu for the first half? What do we got? We got roast, chicken. No. No. <laughs> we got roast lamb. Yeah. What else do we have? Bitter herbs. Uh huh. And what else? Uh -huh. Right. L-E-A. Unleavened bread. That's on the first name. They didn't pass out nothing. They went to what do you have? You want lamb or turkey? Want beef sandwich or pork chop sandwich? Everybody had the same memory. Yes, sir. You see? Rose lamb, bitter herbs, and unleavened bread. Now, the logical question is why? Mm -hmm. see? Because this track is lining up with the beginning of creation. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Dad. You see? Yes. This is a lamb slain before they can get back to Canaan's land. Right. From whence they came. Mm -hmm. So there had to be a death in coming down. Yes. And it necessitates a death to go back. Right. So the lamb down here in Egypt, you see? Now, as I tried to tell you the other day, this land, the real land that I'm talking about, is Joshua down there. Yes. You from? Yes. And that was him in his secret chamber. Yes. Down in Egypt. Right. Yes, sir. I went to Oakland. My wife and I went to Oakland, California when we lived in California, and expounded on each other. Right, right. The dean that got up and said, walked over this black spot. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yes, sir. Been on the elementary chart ever since with pain. Yes. You saw? Yes, sir. And didn't know what it was. That symbolized an app. But down in that outer darkness, and nobody knew who he was. That's right. You got it now? Yeah. That's the same one that Yahshua was down there. And nobody knew who he was. That's right. That's right. Come? Same one. Same one. Yes, sir. You see? Yes, sir. And the dean got up and said, he didn't teach on you. God said, I never noticed that. I said, you, you got it now? Mm. <laughs> I mean, actually got up, walked up on the stage, and the one over there looked at it. And turned around and said, you know, I never seen them. I said, that's a whole lot of other things. All right. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Drop it down to the 10th verse. Uh -huh. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until morning. See, now they had to eat it. You can't say now, hey, hey. see, I don't eat much now. In fact, I'm doing a little better since then. All right. All right. Yeah. I just don't have no, I mean, food just don't taste like 
But I'm saying, now I eat a little of this, part of this, some of this. Then I just go to go and tell Ted, that's all he can have. You understand? Know? <laughs> 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 and go and tell Gary Gross, that's all he can have. That ain't right. You know I mean? <laughs> See, you, you, you let every man eat according to his mind. You see what I mean? So that's the way it is with Yahweh. You, all you want to know, let him eat all the things that Yahweh he wants to know. Right. According to his mind. If he wants to know this, Yahweh will feed you. That's right. right. See? You follow? That's right. So now, that's on the thing. Right? Yes. Now, offer it up on the tenth. I mean, uh, uh, draw it out on the tenth, hold it over for four days. Right. Now, this is what you got. You got. I thought it was the tenth more than this. But it's hard. You got seven, six days in heaven, and the seventh day he rested. Right. Right? right. And he's cutting the earth to reconcile man with angels. Right. And the angels with men. Right. right. So he came in to fulfill and bring us on to the Sabbath, like he worked six days and seven days he rested. Amen. Seven and seven used to equal fourteen. Right. right. So that show right here, he's gonna reconcile heaven and earth yes. in one body. Right. right. You understand? Yes. You follow? Yes. yes. And he's done it. Yes. Angels don't have nothing over you no more. You see, even the angels desire to look at, and they, they, they I'm getting off. They, they think in these schools that the angels are stupid. Because they desire to see, so they didn't know, they were dumb, just like us. That's not true. They knew hell him, but what's this you created? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what they didn't know. Right. They had no familiarity with it. Yeah. <laughs> that answer that question? Yeah. yeah. But listen, they'll show you how to operate. They said, uh, Michael, go tell Ted Smith. Ted Smith, how you spell it? Worship there. Michael again. Uh, Ted Smith, where do you live? <laughs> Detroit. What's the what's zip code? <laughs> what's the address? You know that? Uh, yeah. Yahweh um, decided to appear to somebody and disappear. Right. Yeah. See yeah. no zip code or nothing? That's right. You know where everybody was. You know that. That's right. You know? Yeah. You got the magic? I'm talking about that's the way angels perform. Yeah. Yeah. So they had the power to perform in the earth plane that appeared to whoever by command. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You quit trying to make angels stupid. Right. Right. What is this that you create? We know you, but what's this? Right. Right. Because they almost lost track of him. Yeah, I may get in trouble, but they almost like lost track of him till uh, when he put on a body. We're here, Because I don't believe that. It really, really don't make a difference. <laughs> but when we're going back into Cain's land, the same angel, that Michael, here, stood there across Jordan as if that, where are you going and who's these people following you? <laughs> and he had to sort of, <laughs> oh, come on in. Yeah. 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 But he was on guard ever since Yahweh put him in. Yeah. All right. All right. So then, now uh, what I'm after is, that here's, here's the card of point so I can quit. They had to eat the lamb, and all that was left, you understand? They had to take out and bury it. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now this, you take notes and read this. Take roast it with fire, roast lamb. Now that was on the first Passover feast. Right, right. It was not crackers and grape juice. Right. Now why the lamb? Because they're gonna have the lamb in them. Right. That's the only hope of glory. Yeah. So, and then, until you understand it, it's bitter herb. Right. 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 And then, and, and, until you understand it, you still got the unleavened bread. You want the leavened bread. Right. right. And that's why it was leavened because coming up out of Egypt. Oh, I gotta do it. If he's down in Egypt, mm -hmm. you see, down here, he's not yet risen. Right. Right. And he says, I am that bread that come down, so it has to be unleavened. They had to depart it. Right. Right. So it was unleavened bread. Now, Matthew 26, 26. Now, Messiah had kept his Passover feast with the Hebrews and Hebrews only, you know what I'm saying? Right. For 1,490 years. I'm giving you the figure as it's recorded. You understand? 
$14.99, and it got down to where he said, just laugh. Yeah. Right. Right. Read. And as they were eating, Yahshua took bread. And now, you read that in the New Testament. And as they were eating, eating what? Right. Just yeah, go back here and find out what to read. Right. That's right. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Right. 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 So how can you know as they were eating, and throw away the Old Testament because you're a New Testament preacher. And, they, and know what this is talking about. And this is the same one that spoke to Moses in the land of Egypt and told him what to have on the menu. That's right. That's right. He was down there in Egypt and told him how to set it up. That's right. That's right. So now he's back again, even with his disciples. His 12 disciples, just like he had with the 12 tribes down in Egypt before they came out. Right. Right. Of Egypt. You understand? Yes. He's reconciling heaven and earth. So they brought them as they were eating. Now you know what they were talking about. Now let me show you the conclusion. So then he came in the world, Matthew 5, 17. Said, Think not that I've come to destroy the law. What you just read there in Exodus is in the law. That's right. Right? right? Yeah. And the prophets had to speak according to that. That's right. So when he said, think not that I've come to destroy the so, uh, uh, law, uh, the, the law or the prophet, I, but I am come to what? Oh, yeah. Fulfill. What does fulfill mean? Bring, bring, it, into, bring it in and bring it on into reality. Right. right. You understand? Yeah. So then when he went out there, you see, he had to have the same menu. And he told them, said, now this is the last time. Now you know where the first one was. Right. First Passover. Now you know where the last one was. Right. right. There he is, you understand? Yeah. With him fulfilling up there. And while we're there, listen. Please listen. Nobody was eating Passover feast or Lord's Supper in those churches. Right. Right. They ate it in their houses. Right. 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 Very good. Mm. When Yahweh gathered them up to speak, did nobody bring a sack lunch? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Peanut butter jelly sandwich? Or? You know what I'm no great Jews. They were standing there listening to Yahweh and he was communing. Now that, they call that last of a community. Don't you know community, communication means to talk with, right. to yeah. converse with. Yeah. If I wanted to really to know something. Did you get it, Billy? <laughs> Bill, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Yahweh gave you a better way to commune than that. Right. And that's how he communed with his preachers. Right. Not to practice the great Jews. He spoke to them, as Moses said, face to face as a man talking to his friend. Right. 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 Now, I'm going to conclude. Because you can't eat. No, we were duped. We were deceived. We were simply lied to. Right. Yeah. So when you fulfill that, it's like the lamb. There was, what was left over was taken out and buried. Right. Then when they crucified him on the cross, right? Forth right. with ran blood and water. Right. You understand? Right. And he said, I thirst. Yeah. You got it? So they had to give him gold in fulfillment of the bitter herb. Right. You follow me? Right. And he had not yet written, he said, I am that bread to come down. Right. He was a sacrifice. Right. Yes, he was the lamb of Yahweh. Right. Then when the life ebbed out of his body and everything that was said in the law of the prophets, if it's done, he said, it's finished. Just like he said in there in heaven, it's finished. Right. Well, I have finished fulfilling the law and the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, his life, every time I his body, hung his head, locked his shoulder, and passed on, and dragged him in a loud voice, and gave up the ghost. They took the body down off the cross and laid it in Joseph's new tomb. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he got me and said, in six days, that's going to do the work. On the seventh day, don't do nothing. And then, so they took that car and went out by Passover feet. They pleaded with Jesus, the son of Yahweh, to see you come down, save yourself. And they make a mockery of him. And then trying to one, you break his bone, so they he slumped. And then they just feast him with him. You understand? Know when the last ebbed out of his body, they crucified him in the first place because he said he was, uh, they, they said he was not the son of Yahweh. You understand? Know but when the light went out of his body, the light went out to heaven. You know what I'm Showing that I was the light in the world. Isn't that right? And then he turned the light again. And he took his body down off the, the uh, uh, cross. Because no cross could, nobody could lay step on the cross during the Sabbath. So he said, to finish the work, 
the same one that created the heaven and earth and finished the work. Now he said it's finished. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. He got to take him down off the cross. And he got born in the town. You know what I'm saying? He laid out there and jumped the yeah. Nothing is moving. Hey. No pulse No nothing. Hey. He laid out there and jumped the oh, You talking about fulfilling the staff. No circulation. No thoughts. No suffering. Yeah. doing nothing. Yeah. And then he began to dawn towards the first day of the week. Oh. Then he was risen from the dead. And these hypocrites down here, no hypocrites back there, they roll that stone up there because that deceiver said that he was raised from the dead yeah. on the third day. But if you look back here in the creation, you would see that Yahweh rolled the white back up on the third day. Right. If you look down in the microscope right. and then when what he told you, search the script, you find that Israel came out out of Egypt and on either side was not. They rolled him back up, then the great sea in front of him. Yahweh said, stand still. Yeah. 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 Rock tunnel up, they walked through on dry ground. In other words, that was Israel. Let my son Israel go. So if you'd have known that was Israel being let free back there, you would know better to roll that damn stone up here before he stepped down and keep from the top. So on the third day, the angel rolled the stone away and set up on it. You said, in full field, then uh, when Mary Magdalene went down to the anointing body, just like uh, Eve was the first one that saw Adam as he was risen from that deep sleep. Right. And Mary Magdalene had to go down and she said, Where have you laid? And it was the day he said, He's not here. She looked and she saw a man. She thought it was a garden. I wonder why she thought it was a garden. Because that was Adam in the garden of Eden. Yeah. And he just saw her up back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I tell you. Yeah. I got one more verse. Read the first Corinthians 11 20. Don't take long get me worked up and read. Yeah. Yeah. Read. I was talking about doing teaching. Read. When he comes together. Now when you come together. Into one place. Into one place. This is not to eat the Lord's Supper. And that's been an hour all along. Right. Every time they were standing, they say, take, eat, take, eat. This is my body. See, you didn't do no investigation. Come find out. It's in your Bible. And we call it holy. Can we call this holy? I don't. So anytime a man can tamper with it, it ain't holy. Right, right. But if you rank Lord God and Jesus Christ in that, it ain't holy. Right, right, right. Read. For in eating, everyone taketh before other his own supper. See, now what's the difference? As when Israel was gathered around the mountain, everybody heard the voice of Yahweh and received it simultaneously. Right, right. Um, on the day of Pentecost. All of them were gathered up in Jerusalem. All of them received 120. Some think it was 12 on 120 all death. Remember, no priest in 120 years. So, this is one that called the flood back there. Now, flooding them out by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Yes, man? Yes, right. All right. And they all received the same thing at the same time. You see? And that's the true communion. You see? So, when you read, now, here's why. If Paul saying you cannot eat, if you look at the Madden chapter, that body was dissolved yeah. into a new tomb. It was stone and axe and quite rain and rain. Now ain't nobody in here fighting air. Right. Ain't nobody in here fighting spirit or chewing on it. Right. See, but you are receiving him in your heart and in your mind. Yeah. Right where he said he would write his law. I hope you got some out of here. everyone that had part in this morning's class. Um, at this time I'd like to recognize some visitors which we have with us uh, from the Hendersons and if they could please stand as I read their names. Jane Davis.
Thank you. 